Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Taiga Persson and Thomas Lorasas. This is a game from Chess Olympiad, played in Batumi, Georgia in 2018. Taiga Persson had white pieces and he started with knight to f3, going for the ready opening. Maybe. d5, g3, knight to f6, bishop to g2, g6, c4, c6, b3, double fianchetto, bishop to g7, bishop to b2, and both players castled kingside. a5, knight to c3, black to move. Knight to e4 was played. Knight to a4. Well, if a knight takes on e4, then bishop takes on b2 and black wins. Knight to a4. Bishop takes a bishop on b2. Knight takes on b2. I guess these exchanges five white. Knight to d7. d3. Knight from e to f6. d4. b6. At move 12. White is standing. Slightly better. Rook to c1, bishop to b7, knight to d3, rook to c8, knight from f to e5, knight takes on e5. Choices, choices. How to take on e5? With the knight or with the pawn? d takes on e5 was played. Knight takes on e5. Seems fine for white, doesn't it? d takes on e5. More aggressive move, forcing black's king, best defender to move somewhere else. Knight to d7, white to move. Perhaps most people would play f4. Queen to d2, d takes on c4, rook takes on c4. Knight takes on e5. Winning a pawn, how should white continue? When Taiga went for this position, he knew what to do here. What do you think white should play? Of course, white should not play knight takes knight. Do you agree? Because of queen takes queen. Taiga person played rook to h4, black to move. h5 was played. Let's take it back. What is wrong with knight takes on d3? How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? Then queen to h6 is deadly. If rook to e8, queen takes on h7 check, and after king to f8, queen to h8, check, mate. Back to our game. After rook to h4, we have h5. Rook to d1. Knight takes on d3. Choices again. How to capture the knight? What would you do? Tiger person played. Queen to h6. Very clever move, isn't it? The knight is pinned. Queen to d6. Rook takes on d3. Queen to f6, who is better, white or black? Black is better, materially. One pawn, but white pieces are better placed, or if you wish, more aggressively placed. For example, compare white rooks and black rooks. Also white bishop is better than black bishop, especially after white's next move. Bishop to e4. Bishop to a6, attacking the rook. What is the best place for the rook? Or perhaps white should play rook takes pawn on h5. If rook takes pawn on h5, then black would not take with the pawn. Black would play queen to g7, and black is better. Back to our game. This is the position. What is better? 
v rok to i3, o rok to f3. What would you do? V rok to i3 was played. V rok to f3, attacking the queen, looks more aggressive, but it has a downside, and this is the downside. Queen to a1 check, and after king to g2, bishop takes on e2, and black is winning. Back to our game. Rook to a3, queen to g7. Naturally, with a pawn up, black wants to exchange queens. Queen to g5, rook from c to d8. I guess rook from f to e8 comes to mind. Defending the pawn. Rook from c to d8 was played. Sacrificing the pawn in order to free the game. Reasoning that attack is worth more than a pawn. The game continued. Queen takes on e7. Rook to d1 check. King to g2. Queen to a1. Bishop takes on c6. Rook to g1 check. King to f3. Black to move. Queen to f1 was played. Bishop to c8 would be an interesting choice. We have queen to f1, intending queen to g2 check. King to f4. If something like let's play a random move, then queen to g2 check, and after king to f4, queen takes bishop on c6. Back to our game. King to f4. Queen takes pawn on f2. Check. King to g5. Believe it or not, white king wants to go to h6. Thomas now wished that his dark squared bishop was still alive. It's only when we lose things in life that we miss them. King to g7. If bishop to c8, then king to h6 is highly unpleasant. Back to our game. King to g7, preventing white king from coming to h6. Rook to f4. Attacking the queen. A queen takes on h2. Queen to f6, check. King to h7. What tells? If king goes to g8, then king goes to h6. This would be hilarious. So we have king to h7, white to move. In this position, Taiga person played an awesome move. So awesome that it will enter chess books of the future. And the move got him a brilliancy prize. What is the move? What would you do? Taiga person played. Queen takes pawn on g6 check. Wow, what a move. Black to move, king to h8. If f takes on g6, then rook to e7 check, and after king to g8, bishop to d5 check, rook to f7, rook to e8 check, king to g7, rook takes on f7 check mate. Back to our game. King to h8 was played. White to move. White played a move and black resigned. And the move is king to h6. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Pawn takes queen. Rook takes rook. Check. Mate. The rumor says that Elvis and Tal left the room. Elvis was of course carrying a chessboard and Tal was carrying a guitar. This game won the prize, not only as the best game of the round 7, but the best game of the Olympiad. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.